All right, let's talk about Julius Randle. Because Julius Randle, baller, um, had a message to all you AAU young ballers out there, young hoopers. It's a good message, too. He was talking about some of the differences uh, of going through the AAU process and growing up in that AAU ball. So listen, listen to Julius Randle talk that talk. I get to the Titans and, you know, we're riding the Mavericks plane and it's crazy. You know, order unlimited room service. We wouldn't even get free. Y'all have room. unlimited room service? Bro, free. <laughs> we didn't have any room service. Like, I remember my first AU National. Uh, remember the AU National? Mm-hmm. was like the little in tournament Florida? stuff. In Florida, right? Yeah. yeah. The first one I ever went to for our grade, I was playing up, but it was in Memphis. And I remember staying at like a motel and like sleeping in like four or five kids in mm-hmm. a room. <laughs> Bro, I used to, I thought we was lit. We had like little continental breakfast. We had the little, the little cereal you cranked it, bro. I was always so like appreciative of it too. Like as wild as it was and like crazy, like being a kid and experiencing that, I was always appreciative because like it took a lot off of my mom. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, having to like AAU was expensive, having to take me, pay for things, travel and all that stuff. It yeah. took a lot off of her. Yeah, what he's talking about is the different programs out there, and there's levels to it. Obviously, you're looking at three ballers, three NBA guys, the Hoopers, so they had their access to even the top level of AAU ball. Um, And it's funny because right now we're in the midst of starting to see that AAU percolating because I got an eight-year-old boy who likes to ball. So let's talk through those experiences, right? Uh... Because I didn't have AAU. I played football, ran track. So track was the closest version to AAU, but we called it TAC, the Athletic Congress. So basically, they would take us around. We'll lead the city. We'll lead the state. And we even would go international. I never went on those trips leaving the country, uh, but they had some trips, Jamaica, Mexico, etc. But I was good enough to do those things. But I remembered what he was talking about, the bonding experience. Two levels of this that I really want to highlight. One was the bonding experience, getting on that train or that airplane with all them other kids. And the only thing that's really connecting us is our talents. A lot of times in this world, we think we're connected for a lot of trivial reasons. And sometimes you could think that talent is trivial, except it's merit-based. You earned your way there, right? They grabbed a bunch of kids, said, run on it. And then they were like, nah, we only want the fast ones to go on this airplane, right? Uh, Julius Randall and all those guys, play some ball. Uh, We only want those guys who are really doing it to the next level to jump on this airplane. So it's merit-based. And in that meritocracy, you start to gain a different respect for what you're doing and, more importantly, those around you. A lot of times in this world, they tell us that, you know, oh, we all got the same complexion, so we all got the same connection. And that ain't true. Because you ever meet somebody with your same complexion, not from your same circumstances, y'all ain't got much in common. You ever catch that? Right? You can have a black and white person in the same conditions. What's up, boy? What up, baby? We grew up together. Then you can have a black person and another black person with way different circumstances, and y'all feel a little foreign. So what really connects us is the circumstances. What connects us is what we do in those circumstances of the same level, same caliber. AAU is really dressing that up, basically. They're trying to tell you that this is a merit-based society, and in that merit-based society, we trying to identify y'all early and often. Another thing I caught up in there was how Julius Randle talked about the levels. Even within you being great, there's levels of greatness, right? I had some great years in the NFL. I ain't Aaron Donald by any stretch. You know the difference? Obviously you do. Julius Randle said he was on one team and they had the big plane, the Titans. They had the unlimited room service. And then there was other times he was just out there. You know, they rat packing roaches in the hotel and the motel, right? And it's funny with our foundation and the programs that I'm seeing out here. What I want to do is level the playing field. So it's not about cost. It's about competition, right? It shouldn't be. Oh, this kid got more money and he good, so he going to get more opportunities. It should be not who's the best, regardless of the rest, regardless of the cost, regardless of the conditions. It should just be baller on baller. If we can't have that level playing field in a merit-based situation like this, where can we have it? We already know entertainment industry ain't really merit-based. They try to do that. They try, oh, who went to Juilliard? You know what I mean? They try to go there. 
but really it's just a dude behind the table looking at you like this. Keep reading. And then he says yes or no. That's not the same thing. Um, so let's just make sure that we catch notice of uh, what's around us, circumstances, what's fostering these kids to get them to the next level. Um, if they're going to get to that next level, let's try to make sure it's as level as it can be so we could truly assess it and they can get the most gain from it. So beat it up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that. Y'all ever have some experiences like that? Any of y'all with young ballers? Man, boy, ain't nothing better too. When Coach used to have us and he put us in one room, five of us, five of us in the next room, then you had that adjacent door that you could unlock. Ah, oh, 10 in two rooms. Ah, oh, it was problems. We had our problems. We were tearing them beds up, jumping on top of them. Love.